So, this is the great murderer. Knighthood has fallen on lean days. But then, they made me a knight. So, if I was made a knight, with my list of crimes, why not the same for a slaughterer of helpless villagers? I brought you here to make you a squire. So, actually, yes. And what squire could ask for a better knight than me? Most will fill you with pretty words and solemn vows. I tell you the truth, and the truth is that words are no armor, and vows are no sword. In battle, the man who cleaves your head from your shoulders won't care about your honor. So leave your pretty stories of chivalry and goodness behind. Fight and live. Survivors make their own honor, tell their own tales. Alas, the law requires me to teach you the Knight's Code. Luckily, it has nothing to say about remembering the Code. <clears throat> to be brave and valorous in battle against your enemies, to show no fear in their presence. <laughs> show me a man who knows no fear, and I will show you a fool whose days in this world are numbered. To be just and righteous, to embody and uphold the laws of your lord and land. That's nonsense, too. The only justice you'll find is at the point of a sword. Your noble lord wants only to know that you've followed his commands, and could care less about your methods. Should you obey the lord who asks you to put a village of innocence to the torch? Is that chivalrous? Is it noble? Wisely spoken, no code or law can tell you what is right. Those answers must come from within. Anyway, we're not quite done with the code yet. To be respectful to your enemies and kind to your fellows. You may safely ignore that vow as well. Show respect to your enemies when they are dead. And never forget that your brothers can easily turn against you. To protect the weak and those who cannot defend themselves. We are all weak. And everything can defend itself. Remember that. And you might live to receive your spurs from Lord Nasher. There are some proprieties we must observe. You must undertake a night-long vigil in the Solace Glade, alone. Perhaps you can use the time to let what I've told you sink in. Or perhaps you'd like to speak with your god. No doubt you'll be granted an audience for such an auspicious occasion. Tell me when you're ready to undertake your vigil. I will take you there. I'm in no hurry. Return whenever you wish. <laughs>